hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we'll see how we can set up a cluster on ubuntu 20.4 linux machine using minikube also we'll see how we can install kubectl and work on the cluster so let's start for moving so we need to understand what are the system requirement to set up the cluster so we need at least two cpus or more and 2 gb of free memory 20 GB of free disk space and good internet connection. So container or virtual machine manager. So here we are going to use Docker as our container. Okay, as our driver, we are going to use Docker. So what we'll do on Linux machine, that is Windows 20.4, we'll use the AWS EC2 instance. So what we'll see, we'll see Docker installation minikube installation that is local cluster setup and keeps it here so let's see how we can do all these cluster um, setup i have logged into my ubuntu machines so let's first update once you create the machines first uh, update the machines okay so what i have to use sudo the package manager i'm going to use apt get update type in y hit enter so it will take some time based on the packages need to be updated okay it's updated now so let's install the docker the first we have to use sudo apt i'm going to use apt package manager here and i can use install docker.io so it's very simple to install docker on ubuntu server so hit enter yes okay it is done so next what we have to do we have to install the mini cube here okay so what we did using the wgate command we inst we downloaded the mini cube linux md64 okay so if you see here under this directory we have downloaded this mini cube linux md64 so what we can do now just move this one to the bin directory so we can use sudo mb and we'll move to user local bin and just name as mini cube okay so once we move this to uh, bin directory we have to give permission to that so we just give sudo ch mode just use 755 and give full permissions to this executable permission to this program okay just in it okay now our mini cube is downloaded and we gave permission to it see what is the version of mini cube mini cube if you do mini cube version it will give the mini cube version b1.21 okay so now let's install kubectl so here also we are downloading the kubectl from this url using the curl command okay so just hit enter and it will download so if you see it here we have kubectl downloaded similarly we can move that kubectl to the user local bin directory and then we can change the permission ch mode 755 and give the enter path so keeps it so now we change the permission of this keeps it so let's check the version which version of keeps it we downloaded and installed so it is if you type keeps it version it will display the version informations so we have the client version and it is in you can see it is in json format okay so next we are what we have to do we can start our cluster so how to start the cluster you have to use mini cube start it's very simple just type mini cube start and hit enter okay okay so here we can see we got one error so what is the error okay here is the error the var run and docker.soc okay has no permission it is permission denied 
to open or write this docker suck file so if you go and check the permission of this let's see if you do ls and l on this and you'll see it here the it has root user access as well as the group as docker but we have connected as ubuntu as the user so ubuntu does not have access to execute or update or write anything to this docker.sub file so what we have to do either we can change the permission uh, to provide other access or what we can do we can prov we can add the ubuntu user into the docker group okay so let me add that one so what you have to do sudo user mode you have to use this command type in a g okay and then what we have to do just add docker ubuntu what i did i add ubuntu into this docker group okay so hit enter so once you add this one just exit from this terminal and login back again okay now i logged in again so what we can do now just start the mini queue mini queue start hit enter okay so now that fix the issue and it has started the mini queue so the, it will take some time to completely start the cluster okay the cluster has started now so if you see the status of that just use mini queue status so we can see here mini queue on the kubelet host is running kubelet running api server running and kube config also configured okay so now if you want to see the cluster information just type kubectl cluster hyphen info hit enter you can see here the kubernetes control plane the kubernetes control plane is running at this and the kube dns the kube dns is the proxy which is running on this proxy okay so we can see here we successfully created the cluster using the mini kube tool and if you want to see the nodes just type kubectl get nodes it will give you what are the nodes available to this cluster so currently as we used one local cluster as as we created a local cluster using minikube we have only one node cluster setup that is your the master node so we have only one node cluster we created that is the master node okay and you can see 84 seconds ago it is it is created and the version is this one so now you understood how we can create um, how we can install minikube install kubectl and how we can start and set up the cluster so you can use this cluster to create your own pods and containers and use kubernetes efficiently hope you guys understood how to install minikube kubectl and how to install docker and how you can see the informations cluster informations and the status and how you can check the node informations uh, if you have any doubt or anything please do comment me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your questions so please remember whatever the steps we followed everything is updated into the description below you can check the steps and work on your system thank you